Hello, everyone. My name is Jan Dragonja. I'm a data scientist at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. And together with my colleagues, Shayak Mukherjee, Aaron Tour, Mahantej Halapanavar, and Draguna Vrabie, I will be presenting our recent work on neural Lyapunov differential predict control for obtaining explicit solutions to parametric optimal control problems with stability guarantees. Our work is inspired by model predict control that has been widely successful in a range of industries, such as process control, aerospace, automotive, or high-performance robotics. However, all of these applications have strong underlying assumptions that we have reliable and accurate system dynamics model. However, this is often not the case in applications areas in energy systems, such as power systems or buildings, where we may have unknown or partially known dynamics and obtaining physics-based model is just too expensive. Second challenge is deployment, where we have issues with real-time optimization solver scalability due to limitations on the control hardware. On the other side of the fence, computer science community has been successfully using deep reinforcement learning for solving complex control problems in real in applications areas that typically are can be described by reliable simulation models such as games or simulations of uh, complex physical processes. In this case, we can use massive offline compute power to learn explicit solution of this optimal control problem by sampling the simulation model and obtaining the approximate solution offline by deep reinforcement learning algorithms. However, every time we want to deploy these offline learn algorithms in real time in physical systems, we are faced with open challenges of deep reinforcement learning community that are handling constraints, stability guarantees, and learning on reliable uh, real-time data dealing with partial observability and time delays. Therefore, there has been a lot of push in the shared research uh, from both of these committees to come up with learning-based controllers that combine the strengths of model pretty control in terms of providing reliable robustness, safety, and constraint satisfaction guarantees, and having flexibility of adaptation of reinforcement learning and offline computational capabilities for pre-computing these explicit solutions for easier deployment uh, on the computational hardware limit, limited bandwidth. To this end, uh, we present differential predictive control as one of the methods that combine the principles of both model predictive control with deep reinforcement learning. Let me introduce this uh, idea by comparing DPC with model predictive control. On the left-hand side, we have formulation of the classical abstract model operating control problem with model operating control objective function subject to system dynamics model and state constraints and input constraints. And we are typically solving this problem with online iterative solver like active set mind method or IP opt in interior point method given the current measurements of our initial conditions or control parameters to obtain optimal control sequence of actions that can be deployed in real-time system. On the other hand, differential property control aims to solve parametric optimal control problem by optimizing the parameters of the explicit control policy that can be parameterized by arbitrary differentiable function. Very often, it would be deep neural network. Now, the difference is that uh, we are learning this control policy completely offline and we can bypass the computational limitations of online hardware by pre-computing the solution offline. But how can we do it uh, in more practical sense? Well, we propose two step solution. First, as we do with MPC, we obtain system dynamics model and train or train it based on available time series data by using modern system identification methods like uh, subspace system identification, neural state space models, or neural differential equations. Then in the step number two, we implement the closed loop dynamic system with model priority control objectives and constraints in a differentiable programming framework that allows us to compute the backward sensitivities of this MPC objective for computing direct policy gradients by sampling the problem initial conditions and parameters. To be more concrete, uh, here I can show you how 
specific problem formulation uh, on the left hand side can translate into computational graphs on the right hand side. We start with uh, sampling our initial conditions and problem parameters xi that represents our data set that will be forward propagated through this computational graph, evaluating our explicit control policy that generates the control actions that perturb the system dynamics model, on top of which now we can impose control actions, constraints, and state constraints penalties together with evaluations of the model priority control objective function terms like minimize energy use or uh, stabilize the system, track the reference, or stay within the certain uh, region of the state space. And we use soft constraint penalties for one reason, so we can differentiate them and uh, evaluate the expectations of this loss function in uh, the scalar valued uh, value function that now represents model-based Y-box uh, reward function that doesn't need to be learned from data like this is done in reinforcement learning. This allows us to employ modern automatic differentiation tools such as PyTorch or TensorFlow or, or Julia language to compute the backward sensitivities of this computation graph to obtain direct model-based policy gradients by basically using a straightforward chain rule. This is a very powerful method for learning explicit control policies offline, thus solving the parametric optimal control problem. But because it's based on these soft constraint penalties during training, we have no hard constraint guarantees on constraint satisfaction and stability. To solve this problem, uh, we propose the extension of the framework in our paper uh, uh, at this conference by jointly learning explicit neural control policies together with neural Lyapunov functions that can be used for verifying the closed loop stability of the learned system. Into more uh, concrete example, on the left hand side, again, we have parametric optimal control problem where we want to optimize some objective functions subject to dynamics constraints and state and action constraints given explicit control policy that can be parameterized by neural network. And on the top of that, we will be jointly learning the Alpino function candidates that are parameterized by specific architectures uh, based on deep neural networks. There are several candidates in the literature that has been uh, published in the recent years. In our work, we adopt a learning stable deep dynamics model architecture uh, published by Manning and Coulter in Europe 2019 that is based on input convex neural networks. Here, our Lyapunov function, for, for this community, we don't need to uh, explain what is Lyapunov function, is scalar valued energy function that is parameterized by input convex neural networks and the straightforward procedure of uh, satisfying that we will have always trivial null space uh, that now allows us to learn the parameters of the shape of this Lyapunov function based on uh, given time series data of the closed dynamic system. Now, when we have the Lyapunov function candidate that always satisfies the Lyapunov condition properties, we can add the extra penalties for training to satisfy the closed loop uh, stability guarantees given by this discrete time Lyapunov condition of the decreasing energy of the closed loop system. For putting things together, uh, our algorithm then looks as a follows. We have on uh, this uh, overall loss function that combines the model priority control objective, penalties on Lyapunov conditions, uh, state and input constraint penalties, and it allows us to uh, evaluate this computation graph in forward time, compute the sensitivities not only for control policy, but as well as for the Lyapunov function parameters based on automatic differentiation. Uh, then we obtain trained neural control policy and Lyapunov function that can allow us to validate the closed loop system behavior like we show in this experiment using a uh, straightforward unstable double integrator. We plot the closed loop phase portrait of the 
trained neural control policy that is stabilizing the system with the Lyapunov function contours. And it can also evaluate the Lyapunov condition based on learned Lyapunov function uh, given the samples of this parametric space. But we also show that having neural networks parameterizing the Lyapunov functions is allowing us to create a flexibility for um, a learning a wider coverage in our state space compared to standard uh, quadratic Lyapunov functions, thus uh, being more uh, flexible in, upon closed-loop deployment. To show a little bit more complicated example, here I'm showing unstable vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that uh, has six states and two control action variables. And for the sake of visualization here, I'm showing only slices of two-dimensional face portraits with Lyapunov contours and two-dimensional slice of the Lyapunov function. Again, uh, the story is similar. We are able to learn explicit control policy offline that stabilizes the unstable system. And we have now the Lyapunov function that can help us to validate these closed loop dynamic systems in simulation uh, for validating the safe and unsafe regions that again are uh, have wider coverage than compared to using uh, simple quadratic Lyapunov functions. In conclusion, uh, I have presented the method for jointly learning explicit neural control policies by using differential predictive control algorithm together with joint uh, learning of neural Lyapunov functions for closed loop stability guarantees. And our next steps uh, in the research are the demonstration of nonlinear dynamic system using time varying nonlinear objectives and constraints, large scale uh, dynamic systems, and obtaining some online safety filters based on these Lyapunov functions that can adaptively correct the unsafe uh, control actions in the real time. Our code uh, is freely available on the open source GitHub page and uh, the technical details of the safety and stability guarantees can be found in our paper. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me via email or via LinkedIn. Thank you very much for your attention.